They're called crop circles, huge geometrically perfect shapes that literally appear overnight carved right out of farmer's fields. Some believe they're UFO landing pads. Others think they might be some sort of cosmic road sign. And, of course, many people just think they are hoaxes. Recently, the story of these crop circles took a dramatic turn. For the first time, physical evidence of their creation may have been discovered. At first glance, they look like ancient Roman dinnerware, but some believe they are something far more dramatic, extraterrestrial artifacts left behind by the crop circle's mysterious creators. The plate is like a map, the map of um, the uh, crop circles. You know, the, the same signs you see on the, you saw on the fields, you saw on the plate. These are ancient, sacred symbols, and in my opinion, the phenomenon appears to reawaken our hidden memories of these ancient symbols of communication to tell mankind that we are really entering a new age, the age when the gods return. All indications are that uh, this is part of a pattern of powerful, unusual intelligence showing itself on the planet. Is an alien power drawing messages on a canvas of grain? Are these circles an elaborate global hoax? Our story of the latest development in this mystery begins on the morning of July 20th, 1991, when jogger Hans Lahn discovered these patterns carved into the wheat fields of Grasdorf, Germany. 150 feet long and 50 feet wide, they were inscribed with ancient symbols that appear to be in the lost Celtic language. This is a message. This is indeed a message by a non-human intelligence. After receiving a telephone tip, local journalist Claudia Brebach was one of the first investigators to arrive on the scene. She immediately ordered a series of aerial photographs for analysis. They were just huge. They were really amazing because they were so huge. And I first thought it couldn't be human being doing this. If it's a human being having done this, it's a genius, really. Because it's, I, I think it was about 100 meters long and the circles were, were exactly made and it was really beautiful. Our investigative team invited German researcher and author Michael Hesseman to analyze the origins of the Grasdorf circles. He began with a land survey to determine if the circles could possibly be a hoax. If you fake them, you would really align them with the tram lines. But they are not in alignment to the tram lines. And it is exactly in an east-west alignment. And so really guide me to the conclusion that we have a real phenomenon and that they are not made by human beings. Analysis of soil and plant samples taken from the grass door circles revealed some unusual characteristics. The stalks are bent but not broken. They lay down one by, by the next one, one next to each other in a circular pattern. We found molecular changes, we found genetic changes, we found all indications of a great heat. Scientific tests performed by the Technical University in Berlin showed radiation levels inside the crop circles that were 172% higher than in the field around it. In April, psychic Helga Lundström visited another section of the Grasdorf field, where the unexplained phenomena had been captured on film. This is amazing. She really detected the uh, right side of what we call the sun wheel, um, but it's one of the uh, um, circles we had in the pictogram. And it is really amazing how she, after, you know, two and a half years, really detected the right side for this formation. The mystery intensified when metal detector tests of the crop circles uncovered three unusual metal plates. Each plate contained an image of the crop circle pictograph, exactly the same design that had been carved on the wheat fields. German historian Moschkotti Litfas helped analyze these metal plates, plates that were found to be made of precious metals, bronze, silver, and gold. I went with the plates with another man together to Berlin. There is an examination institute, a very, very big institute, and they found there is only silver in the silver plate and the bronze is very unusual. We have never seen metallic plates like this. 
if you look on this picture, you see there are a lot of circles. But there are only three circles surrounded by half circles. And that are the places they found the three plates. In all the other circles, they found nothing. How could such elaborate designs appear overnight in the darkness? Why did these huge symbols mirror the images of the metal plate? These are only two of the many questions that surround these mysterious circles.